Hi there stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and today I'm very excited to share the most popular card from my viewers choice video a couple of weeks ago where I shared 25 of my favorite swap cards from the most recent Stampin' Up! on stage event. Are you ready for it? Here it is. It is the Lemonade Cup card, perfect for summer. Great choice, everyone. I so agree with you. This is an awesome card. They were all awesome. And I'm sure I'll make more in the future. But this one is the top choice from you guys. This card was designed by Lindy Norstead. It was a swap she gave me in Salt Lake City at on stage. And now, let's make it. Today, we are going to be making this fantastic lemonade card look at this 3d card this is so so cool this is such a fun card to make and i had a lot of fun making it and it's really quite easy i think you're going to enjoy it i'm going to change it up just a little bit the stamp sets that i'm going to be using is the stampin up apple of my eye and gorgeous grunge all the supplies that i'm using today are available in my online store all the measurements and all the supply list and details on this card are available on my stampwithtammy.com blog simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the YouTube description below. If you're on YouTube, you can click right on this video. I should note, this stamp set is only available till the end of May. It is going away. The apple of my eye was in the occasions catalog. It is about to be gone forever. So if you want it, get it. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna start by doing the background of the card first. That's where the gorgeous grunge comes in. I've got some Melon Mambo paper, Melon Mambo ink. Stamping up the splatter from the gorgeous grunge and just stamping it around several times before I re-ink it to give it a nice splattery look on the background. Very fun. Make sure you go off the edge when you do that. And the designer paper that I'm using is the, des the Suttles Designer Stack originally Lindy used the brights and I love the brights and I didn't have them so I'm substituting you can go with either way just a little snail sticks the polka dot strip right on the front and probably before I stick that down I want to stamp the word so before I press that but wait <laughs> before I do that let's stamp the thank you that came with the apple of my eye stamp set in black Now, <laughs> after that, now we'll stick down our strip and then we can attach this to our Daffodil Delight card base with some snail as well. While we've got the stamps out, let's take the Daffodil Delight and some delightful Dijon. We're going to stamp our lemon slice in the Daffodil Delight. Stamp that on some Whisper White scrap and then the little seeds are in the delightful Dijon. I don't know if mustard and lemons go together, but in this particular case, they work. <laughs> I'm thinking about eating. I certainly don't want to eat them together. Ew. But hey, on the card, they work together. This is the one and three quarter inch circle punch. Going to punch out that lemon. Okay, so this is um, two and a half by one and a half strip of the... Um, Suttles designer paper stack that I just used on the front of the card. This is the stripe pattern from the Pear Pizzazz. I'm loosening up the fibers with a bone folder so that it rolls nice and easy. We're going to roll a straw out of this. And then at the end, I'm going to take some tear tape. This stuff is great. It's strong and it just rips off. Don't, don't put that too far away from you because we're going to need it again in a second. So we're going to roll up our straw. The, the more you've loosened the fibers, the easier you'll be able to get it to roll. And then the tear tape will stick it together like so. Cute, isn't it? So fun. So we'll put those aside and now we'll work on our lemonade glass. So what I'm going to do is measure in three quarters of an inch. I found this easiest to make a little tick mark. 
So I'm measuring in three quarters of an inch and then making a tick mark at the bottom on either side. So three quarters of an inch and making a tick mark. You don't have to use the tick marks if you can just eyeball it, that's great too, but I had a hard time with that, so. Um, and then what you wanna do is line up your tick mark and the, the top corner of the vellum with the, the blade and just cut it and then do the same with the other side. Line up the tick mark and the top corner. And that's gonna give us the shape we want Next, um, our paper trimmer comes with a scoring blade. We're gonna use that at the half inch mark. So lining up this edge with the half inch mark, I'm gonna score it and then do the same thing on the other side. Line it up with the half inch mark, score. Score! And then that just folds on either side. So you have these two flaps that kind of show. We're just going to snip those off on either side. Yeah. And that's our cup, but wait. We also need to make a backing for it so that, it so that the yellow really pops on this card. So what I did was I took a piece of white. Okay, so now that's two and a half by three and a quarter. And so the top should fit good, but the bottom... See, it's got to fit in between these score lines. So what I'm going to do is do the same thing we just did with making some tip, just make a tick mark at the bottom of each of these score lines from the vellum. And then take the paper cutter and do the exact same thing. Line up the tick mark with the top edge on either side. And that gives us a perfect sized insert. Okay, before we color the vellum, I want to put down our adhesive because I found it didn't really stick good once I put ink on the vellum. It didn't stick over the ink. So just taking some tear tape, leave the adhesive on the tear tape, and it's just going on these little wings that we just made. And next, we're going to use the brayer, and I'm very, very sad to report that this is retiring. I don't know what I'm gonna do without my brayer, but it's only gonna be available from Stampin' Up! till the end of the month. Yikes! I guess I'm gonna learn a whole lot of new techniques <laughs> without my brayer. Anyway, we still have it for we still have it for the month of May, so let's get some use out of it. I'm gonna use the Daffodil Delight again. Now, when I use the brayer, I roll and lift. I'm going to show you this in kind of slow motion, rolling and lifting, and I continuously do this to ink up the brayer really good. Roll, lift, roll, lift, roll, lift. Try not to do this. Seesaw, seesaw. Why? Because it creates a line right there of ink. And when you roll it out, it creates a line of ink on your project. So try the roll, lift. And then when you get on your project here, we're only going to do like the bottom three quarters of this card. I start off the edge, roll off the edge. So... Get that nice and inked up with some daffodil delight. Oh, it's so pretty. I am working it in there just a little bit. I still have the backing on the adhesive there, so that's going to peel off in just a second. It doesn't need a minute to dry. You can attach the... We can attach our little cup liner, we'll call it. Here where the cup is going to go. And we can go ahead and put the straw down on top of that. I did, I kind of flattened it, not totally at the top, but on the bottom a little bit. I just kind of pushed it down. I didn't want, to, want it to lose its shape totally, but just flat enough so that the adhesive will stay on it. And then I'm just sticking some tear. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. There we go, some tear tape to it. And then just peel that backing off. And stick it down. And when, and when your cup is dry, 
when the ink is dry in your cup you can go ahead and peel the protective backing off the adhesive the adhesive is on there i know that i know that it looks like it's not because i just peeled off the backing acted a, like a little mask when we brayered but the adhesive is on there it should be very sticky that tear tape is very strong stuff And we're gonna go ahead and line that up with our little liner and stick it down. Mine wasn't quite dry, so I'm just gonna use a, a Kleenex here on mine. So it, best to wait for it to dry, but you know, if you're like me, a little excited. It is what it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut a little slit up of our lemon and that's gonna go right on the side of our glass. I'm using a Stampin' Dimensional to hold that down. Isn't that fun? And then we'll just take a little rhinestone jewel and stick it right in the center and voila, our card is complete. It's completely awesome. Remember the retiring items are only good until May 31st and they're while supplies last, so they may be gone before then. The list is on my blog as well as a free PDF for this card and all the supplies that I use to make it. Be sure to sign up for my newsletter there because I send out free tutorials every week. Thanks for joining me today.